Hey everybody, this is a video to uh, encourage people to wake up to who Obama really is. Now, I've just written all this out very neatly and I'm going to read from it the lead up to Obama's trip to Kenya because I know I've posted this a few times already but hey, you know, when you get a good thing well, an evil thing in this case it needs to be exposed because people need to see it and know it back to front, I believe in order to know the truth and then look for the good in this world, Jesus Christ, and accept him as saviour. So the lead up to Kenya 2015. 20th of January 2009 was the Obama inauguration. Four years and eight months later, Obama's born on the fourth day of the eighth month equals the 21st of September 2013, the first day of the Kenya Westgate Mall siege. Wow. Now have a look at this. If this isn't just pure mockery of the Bible, right? And those ignorant people out there that choose to ignore the truth. 13 days and 18 months exactly on from the 21st of September, the first day of the Kenyan Westgate Mall siege, 1318, Revelation 1318, they've copied, mocked the chapter and the verse. It's the 666 verse in the Bible in the New Testament book of Revelation. Forwarding on that amount of time, 13 days and 18 months, we arrive at the 2nd of April 2015, the day of the Garissa University Massacre. So, so far we've had 4 months and 8 days from Obama's inauguration to the first day of the West Cape Mall siege. Obama's born on the 4th of the 8th. Okay, the number of his name, right? This is all about the number of his name. Here is wisdom, let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. This is prophecy. This is Bible scripture in action, in action. So counting from the 2nd of April 2015, the Grissom State University Massacre, forwarding on again to the number of Obama's name, two days and 16 weeks, 216, Obama's born on the 216th day of the year, 6 times 6 times 6 equals 216. We arrive at the 26th of July 2015, which is the day Obama was in Kenya, in Nairobi. Okay. And on this day, counting, counting again, here is wisdom and understanding, Revelation 13, 18, count from Obama's day in office, first day in office, 20th of January, 2009, inauguration day, forwarding six years, six months, six days on, we arrive at the 26th of July, just like the day I said, the day he was in Kenya. Two days and 16 weeks previous to that was the Grissom State University attack, massacre. Oh my gosh, and on the 26th of July, also in America, the Baphomet statue, the, te the Satanic Temple of Detroit, unveiled the statue to Baphomet, the goat of Mendes, the horned god, the goat god, devil, Satan, Obama, Lucifer, all one and the same today, Obama, Satan, Lucifer, the devil, son of perdition, man of sin, in the flesh. Baphomet statue erected on the 26th of uh now, 25th, it should be, was erected on the night of the 25th, Saturday, going into the, the day, the, the morning of Sunday, because it was an all-night affair, all-night ritual, and all-night party, from 8 o'clock into the early, mornings, early, early morning hours of Sunday morning, the 26th, because Saturday was the 25th of July, right? And Obama arrived, was in Kenya on the 26th, Sunday. All to coincide with his sixth year, six months, six day anniversary in power. Okay, moving on from there, the Westgate Mall was closed from the 21st of September 2013, the first day of the siege, and reopened to coincide, if you read the newspaper report, to coincide with Obama's returning to Kenya, the prodigal son returns the following weekend. So the Westgate Mall reopened on the 18th of July 2015. Counting back to the 21st of September 2013, the first day of the siege, it's exactly 666 days of closure. It's been closed for 666 days. I mean, that's nothing to laugh about or smile about. That's just horrendously evil. Okay. The 18th of July 2015, Westgate Mall reopened and the newspaper reports say to coincide with Obama's return trip to uh, Kenya the following weekend, a weekend later. What else have we got? Forwarding on from uh, the 26th of July, the um, Sunday, 
uh, when Obama was in Kenya, six year, six months, six day in office, counting back from inauguration 20th of January 2009, forwarding on nine days, nine days is judgment in the Bible, number nine is judgment in the Bible, nine days in total time in hours is 216 hours, so you can always associate nine days in time with 216 hours, the number of the beast, right? We arrive at Obama's birthday of 2015. Amazing. And last of all on this list, the blood red moon of the 4th of April 2015. The third blood red moon of the 2014-2015 Tetrad. 4th of April 2015, two days and 16 weeks later, 216. Now, this is signs in the heavens. This is puts real emphasis on the blood red moons and have a look at the rest of my other videos on the blood red moons that it signifies Joel 2, Joel 2.31 and Joel and Acts 2.20. Before the great and terrible day of the Lord begins, the moon will turn the blood, the sun will not give its light. These are what these blood red moons were from 1949 to 2015, 66 years and 6 months from April 1949 to September 2015, 66 years and 6 months, 666. Highlighting that the day of the Lord is at hand, the beast has been born, Obama and the Pope, and they are both in power, the Antichrist and his false prophet. Well, 26th of July, blood red moon, 4th of April, 2015, two days, 16 weeks, two, day, two days and 16 weeks later on date to date cal calculator on timeanddate.com. These are the tools to use to work this out. 26th of July is the day he was in Nairobi, Kenya. Uh, 666th anniversary since taking office 20th of January 2009. Thanks for listening. Coincided with that blood red moon even. You know, his total time and power to that to, to that point. Right, Obama's born on the 216th day of the year. 6 times 6 times 6 equals 216. And there you have it, blood red moons. Look at that, people. Look at that. Undeniable. Righto guys, thanks for listening. Spread the word if you get this information because this is the real truth that I would love to go into a church and hear this being spoken. At least this being shared, taught. Because it always takes one person to observe the truth and then to get it out there. I'm just a messenger in the greatest scheme of this evil world. Exposing the truth of this evil world through numerology. Thanks for listening. Counting, Revelation 13, 18, wisdom and understanding, start counting.